Hello everyone, this is Mr. Raphael, and today I will be reading The Boy with Big, Big Feelings by Brittany Wynn Lee and illustrated by Jacob Sova. There once was a boy with feathery hair and a heart that was bursting with feeling. His emotions seemed bigger than everyone else's, and sometimes they made him go reeling. When playing outside on the yellowest days, a loud truck might rumble on by, and wouldn't you know it, that big heart of his would push feelings right out of his eyes. At night when the shadows would form on the walls, and fear would steal all of his rest, those feelings of his made it so hard to breathe as they jumped up and down on his chest. Sometimes when his play had come to an end, or when things didn't go as he'd planned, the feelings would run down the length of his arms and clench when they got to his hands. He felt happy feelings as big as the others, from tickles and hide-and-go-seek, and jokes and races and stories and songs that made feelings glow from his cheeks. Beautiful things would stick in his brain and not leave him for hours and hours. The fur of a dog, a fluffy white cloud, his mama, a banjo, some flowers. But when someone he loved had a very hard day, he'd feel he'd been over-equipped to feel all their feelings as deeply as they, which would quiver right out of his lip. He wondered, why me? Why this big giant heart in a world that's so heavy and kind? where all of the feelings under the sun feel as if they were made to be mine. So the boy tried to stuff all his feelings deep down, to control what he thought he should hide, afraid that the others would make fun of him if they saw all he felt deep inside. Would they think he was weak, traumatic, afraid? Would they call him a wimp or a baby? If they saw the big, thumping heart in his chest, would they not want to play with him, maybe? But while swinging one day, feeling oh so alone, he noticed a girl feeling blue. He marveled. What's that? Could it be? Yes, indeed. Her emotions were extra big, too. Are you okay? The boy asked the girl. I'm fine. Just sometimes I get sad. He said, you do? Hey, I get sad, too. I get scared and silly and mad. The two became pals who shared their big hearts, not feeling they had to pretend when they needed to cry or to laugh big and loud since feelings had helped make them friends. And soon they noticed there were other big hearts in the classroom, they playground the bus, and they smiled as they learned that it wasn't just them. Big emotions affect all of us. The boy and his friends slowly felt less alone with the feelings that lived deep inside them. Emotions might feel big and scary sometimes, but that is no reason to hide them. The End